end of graph generator there. Here we can kind of see a pretty big repulsion. So that strong force, someone pointed out, is going to have a range on the scale of distances between protons and neutrons. This has a huge range, right? If we have enough charge, anyway. You can't feel the sparks at all? No, I can. Because a little steam? Yeah, I can feel it. It's not bad. Explain what's happening. <laughs> Aren't the electrons Why jumping? Yeah. What do you think's happening? Aren't the electrons, like, jumping? Yeah, you're going to get a transfer of charge. Does it have to build up to a pretty high value before it jumps? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's steady, right? It kind of yeah. has a time lag when, when the sparks jump, right? Okay. There's a belt that's turning, and down at the bottom, you'll have straight charges. And the rubber belts and insulators carries the charges up to the top. And when there's a small gap in pointy objects, there's a really strong electric field and charges can make the jump over there. And once they contact the inner surface of the metal, you say this in physics, where do they all move? They spread out yeah. and go to the outside and, and build up. 